What's up guys, thank you for tuning in again. So in this video, I want to quickly talk about the concept of resistance. And in life, there are numerous occasions where we might encounter resistance, obviously, like uh, whether it be when you try to get into a new hobby, you try to learn a new skill, um, you're trying to be consistent with your exercise. There's always gonna be a point where you will encounter resistance of some sort. And I want you to be happy about that because it means every time you find yourself in a, in a position of resistance, it means that there is a crossroads. There's only a certain percentage of people who is going to make it after that initial feeling of resistance and the percentage of people who is actually going to like jump that, that hurdle, to put it like that. And for you, that's a good thing, because I assume if you're watching this video, then you are on your way of self-improvement. You are looking to improve yourself in multiple ways. And, and what also is part of that is standing out. I mean, obviously, when you develop yourself, when you're putting in effort, you're going to stand out. Because I, I do think there's only a small percentage of people who, who really cares about self-improvement and who is really out there trying to improve themselves. And every time you show up at your exercise session, somebody else is giving up and you are basically leaving people in the dust. Like it might only be 1%, but still you're leaving people behind, you know, and that should be a good thing for you. You're losing competition every time you are overcoming resistance. And that doesn't mean that life is some big battle royale and you should try to to, to beat everyone and to to make sure no one else is going to make it. Like, of course, um, I think there is definitely a lot of value in, in showing other people the right way. But I do think it's important to, do, to get there yourself first. And once you have taken care of yourself, then you can speak from experience and show people the right way to go about things and make sure they don't have to make the mistakes that you run into. Like that's part of what I'm doing as well right now, guys. Like I'm making basically this YouTube channel for myself when I was about maybe 15, 16. I'm giving him the advice that would prevent him from making the mistakes that I made myself at that age. In a way, there's gonna be people to relate to the things I'm talking about as well. And they will they will find out that ah, my problems are not so, so, so. So original, there's already someone else that's kind of similar like me, who's also, who also went through it and can have some insight on it. And that's what I'm basically doing on this channel as well, guys. What I want you to keep in mind is that when you feel resistance, try to see it in a way as an opportunity, an opportunity to really stand out from other people who came that far, but have given up at that point and show yourself that you you are not a quitter, you can keep going and you will persist. And I think that's, that's a nice feeling, you know, every time you feel like, ah, uh, should I go to the gym? I'm not really feeling it, but then you remember like, ah, wait, if I overcome this, then I will kind of beat someone else who has given up, who also felt this exact feeling of resistance. But instead of him, I am actually going to overcome it. And I think that's, a big source of, of, of drive and motivation and that's going to keep you going along the way. Yes, that's basically everything I want to mention in this video. If you enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And I have to say guys, recently a video of mine has really been popping off for my standards and I've been getting really nice feedback from, from some of you and, and I really appreciate the support and let's keep it going. Thank you very much and I see you next time. Bye bye.